confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong. Hey yo, yo yo what's up man it's your boy to you SKO to the day Mr. Flow so good my tiba taught let me just keep them out what y'all already know man back with you guys with another YouTube video now we're to the goat is officially out of his naughty corner okay somewhere somehow MT managed to find his smartphone and his back being twitter fingers and on one of his long twitter rants recently he actually came out and expressed some concerns and some of his unhappiness with his label situation however this time he was a little more detailed on what he was unhappy with this is what he actually came out and said someone came out and said I was at Capasso sometime last year when they were still based in Rosebank someone told me you were there two days back actually I had all your royalties got to an ambitious end and when I, you didn't know nothing about it he further came out and said I've been in studio every day making music not even knowing if it's ever gonna drop on another tweet he said why you ain't did a tour why didn't you market DIY 2 why you so quiet music videos bitch I didn't sign to myself he also said in another tweet I can't do much for my artists even now those tweets make it pretty clear that there are some discrepancies between MT and ambitious entertainment at this point and for the most part reading those tweets it seems like he is more unhappy with how his music is being pushed how his music is being released and how his fans are actually receiving the whole situation as you guys can tell in one of the tweets he talks about people asking him about music videos people asking him about uh, not going on tour and people also asking him about you know his album not being promoted that much it seems that's what he's mostly upset about because on another part of his tweet he did come out to clear up the fact that he doesn't feel like he's getting robbed of money which is quite ironic because on one of the tweets somebody's speaking about royalties and he actually came out and you know released a heartbreak emoji but he did clarify the fact that he doesn't feel like he's being robbed financially now a number of people did come out to express the fact that they feel like he should leave the record label because the record label is destroying his career and he should basically leave the record label now while he still has all the buzz while he still has the, all the shine and while he still has all the success now being honest uh, i do feel that if he does feel like you know the label is no longer treating him the way that he should be treated and really he can't you know get to a position whereby they can negotiate the situation and find an amicable way to resolve it i do believe that he should leave but for the most part that's not the situation i'd like to see happen between these two and that is basically because as much as we like to take the side of the artist in these situations and say that look man uh the artist deserves more and so on and so forth if we tell the truth part of the reason MT is where he is and I saw in some of these tweets he did actually acknowledge some of this is it has a lot to do with Ambitious Entertainment yes he was talented before he was signed to Ambitious Entertainment yet he had, yes he had some great music but if we tell the truth part of the reason he got to where he was was because Ambitious Entertainment actually gave him that push they gave him you know that necessary financial leverage push and marketing that basically allowed him and you know the new sound that he brought into the game to flourish and make MT the artist that he is today with that also being true MT has contributed a lot to ambitious entertainment I always refer to him as ambitious entertainment golden boy because if you look at the amount of success he got because of the sound that he came into the game with you know the African trap sound the amount of buzz that he got the amount of impact that he had on the game when he came out with that sound that is basically what catapulted ambitious as a record label and catapulted you know their image as the record label to look out for in the game and one of the most important record labels in the game especially in hip-hop you know it really was because of the sound that MT came with and you know the type of music he was making and how new it was and how foreign it was to our ears but how much people really enjoyed it and so he also you know contributed a lot to the record label so when you see those types of situations you need to realize that their relationship is a bit different from the average artist that gets signed to ambitious and just leaves and so it would be rather tragic to see these two part ways especially you know in unsavory terms from what it seems like like you know from the tweets that MT is actually coming out with not only would it act as a blow you know to both these brands in the game because you know if MT leaves 
it, it, um, ambitious won't look you know very good as a record label i'm not even gonna lie they're not gonna look very good as a record label if mt leaves because mt is the guy that you know we've, at some point we even thought ambitious was owned by mt you know what i'm saying that's how much you know we associated ambitious entertainment with mt so if mt leaves it's like you know the guy the main guy you know that we always looked at at the label is now gone so you know I don't think it's a reputation that they're going to be able to earn back. You know, maybe they're going to end it back with time, but it's going to take them a really long time to find another artist like that or to actually produce another artist like that. And judging from MT's tweets, you know, he himself as an artist does, you know, show signs of the amount of gratitude he has towards ambitious entertainment. And he doesn't seem like the kind of artist that wants to go indie. Um, and as much as I know that fans like to scream, artists should be independent, why are they even signed? That's a slave contract, blah, blah, blah. Independence is not for every artist. And some artists, um, from what even it looks like to me with MT, it seems like, you know, there are a lot of artists that just feel like, not being signed doesn't work for them and if you know being signed works for you stay signed don't go independent just because you see other artists going independent and he doesn't strike me as the kind of artist that wants to even be independent so for those reasons i do feel like uh, they should sit down i do feel like they should both sit down try and work it out and we hopefully see their relationship last long and longer but you guys leave me your comments in the comment section let me know what you think what do you guys think of mt's tweets recently basically expressing some desire satisfaction with his label situation do you guys think that they should work it out or do you guys think that you know he should leave and if they part ways since you guys can clearly see that mt doesn't seem like he wants to go indie who do you think you know should sign him you guys leave me your comments and definitely subscribe awesome now wait 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 emma Billy, i know you want to go but click that red button and subscribe and put some respect on a younger name man awesome